today we're going to be looking at electric charge and current. The definition of current is it is the rate of flow of charge. And how we express that mathematically is by this equation. So I represents the current. Delta meaning the change, but we're not having a change in charge. What we are having is the charge is flowing. So this is meaning the flow of charge divided by the time it takes. And current is measured in amperes, the symbol of capital A. From the definition of current, we actually get the definition of the unit coulombs. And coulombs is the unit for charge. So if we rearrange this equation for the flow of charge, that is equal to the current times the time taken. And we've said charge is measured in coulombs. And so if we was to get the what one coulomb equals, well, it equals the unit of current, which is amperes, times the unit of time, which is seconds. So one coulomb represents or is equal to one ampere second. So the definition of one coulomb is it is the charge flowing when you have one ampere of current for one second. So conventional current flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal. So looking at our battery, the long line represents the positive terminal and the short line represents the negative terminal. And so how we would represent the current flowing in this circuit is by conventional current. And so that's from positive to negative. However, electrons, because they're negatively charged, they come from the negative terminal and they move towards the positive terminal. So conventional current is in the opposite direction of electron flow. In metals, it's the electrons that are free to move around the fixed positive ions or nuclei. So they're stationary and the electrons are free to move. And so they are the charge that flows when we have a current. So what's needed to get a current is a voltage because the voltage provides a force on the electrons to make them move in one direction. And this gives rise to the current. However, conventional current, remember, is in the opposite direction in which the electrons flow. So we said in a metal, the current is due to the flow of electrons. And the charge of each electron is given by E, which represents the elementary charge. And it's equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So if we know the total charge flowing is delta Q, and we need to determine the number of electrons that are flowing, then we would take our total flow of charge and divide it by the charge of each electron. And this is because if you multiply the number of electrons you have flowing by the charge of each electron, that will give you the total charge flowing. To determine the number of electrons flowing per unit time or number of electrons flowing per second, if we consider this equation and divide both sides by time t, then we'd have here delta Q divided by T, which is our current. So the number of electrons flowing per unit time will equal to our current divided by the charge of each electron. These two equations are not on the formula sheet, so they're ones that you would have to remember. Finally, if we were to look at the current in electrolytic solutions, would say it's due to the flow of positive and negative ions. So here we have the positive and negative ions in our electrolytic solution. And the solution is connected by these electrodes to a battery. So the 
left electrode is connected to the positive side of the battery so this electrode is positively charged the right electrode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so it is negatively charged so the positive ions will move towards the negative electrode and the negative ions will move towards the positive electrode.